Hello and good evening everyone and uh, welcome to this orientation session of clinical management of HIV course. As you all are aware that this course is being offered by University of Washington, Seattle and uh, this will be a three months course and to be exact it will be a 10 weeks course in fact and uh, it will be from March 29 to May 31st 2017. As we have already discussed in the WhatsApp group, this will be uh, an orientation session which will in which we will try to discuss how to access the course material and how to solve the quizzes and other things so that you uh, will be able to successfully complete the course. So uh, as you are also aware that our site for this course is iTech Delhi India. Dr. Nina Kim is our faculty instructor and uh, the program coordinator is uh, Ms. Meg and I will be the site coordinator and clinical facilitator for most of the sessions. Uh, my name is Dr. Anwar Parvez and I work as a senior medical advisor at iTech India. So I again welcome every one of you uh, for this orientation session and also uh, for this course. Uh, brief about uh, ITEC India, what ITEC is, ITEC stands for International Training and Education Center for Health. It is a center in the University of Washington Department of Global Health and which is which functions in partnership with the University of California San Francisco. ITEC has projects in more than 20 uh, countries worldwide and in India ITEC has been an implementing uh, partner of PEFAR. Uh, and who works in close collaboration with NACO and we work uh, especially with uh, care support and treatment division of NACO and also uh, uh, regarding the ART program and treatment activities and uh, are supported under ITEC's uh, work profile. So the, this slide is just to show few countries where ITEC uh, works and if you see in the left upper hand corner uh, corner so you can see US map and in just uh, north west of US if you see there is Seattle so where University of Washington is uh, located. Uh, if you want to know more about University of Washington you can go through uh, the website www.washington.edu and this will explain in detail about university, its campus, activities, courses and uh, everything about University of Washington. So without uh, spending much time in other things, we will directly uh, jump on to the actual course which we are interested in. Our course is Clinical Management of HIV and just for your information, we are doing this course successfully uh, for the third time now in last three years uh, and most of the participants for this course have been ART Center Medical Officers. The main objective has been it will serve as an incentive to ART Center Medical Officer because at the end of uh, successful completion of the course you will receive a certificate uh, from University of Washington um, which will uh, uh, so which will be which can be actually get uh, you can actually get it after completion of all course modules and requirements. So this session will basically talk about those requirements which uh, are necessary uh, to be fulfilled for successful completion of this course. So this course will provide in-depth training and uh, on the diagnosis and clinical management of HIV. There are many other countries who are also participating along with us for this course like uh, almost 25 countries are participating. This is necessarily a web based course. As I mentioned previously also there will be 10 weekly seminars. That means every week there will be one topic on which all the discussion, lectures and everything will happen. So in every week there will be two lectures which will be conducted at University of Washington US. Those lectures are actually conducted on an every Wednesday at 8 a.m. that is in the morning US time. And we will not be able to directly participate in those lectures like live uh, participation cannot be done. But once they conduct the lecture they will upload the recording of those lectures on our canvas. Now what is canvas we will discuss uh, very shortly. Uh, most of you might be aware that we have a canvas on which we find all the course material. So, uh, and 
as soon as they conduct the weekly uh, lectures they will upload these recordings of those lectures within 24 hours that means by friday we will be having access to those recorded lectures maximum by friday so at present if you see you will uh, you will be able to access week one lectures and also you might be able to access week, week two lectures by uh, this friday but as we started late now we are starting the course in this week we will be having uh, discussions and everything on week one lectures or week one uh, seminars so by completion of this course you will be uh, participating in over 70 case studies which will be involving HIV and STIs now uh, the learning activities in this course is how we go about this course like I mentioned every week there will be a topic for every week and on that topic two lectures will be conducted at the university and those recordings will be uploaded on the canvas so the uh, a text in the board on the bottom of the slide if you see this is the link for that uh, for, for accessing the canvas I'll come back to this link later so what we are supposed to do for successful completion of this course is number one we need to watch all those lectures that is two lectures per week we need to we need to watch them that and listen to them so the lectures will be in the form of uh, mp4 and uh, video and also there will be audio there will be powerpoint presentation in the form of pdf so you can access that material i will come back to this also and show you how to access that material then you can participate in discussion forums which is optional uh, i'll show you where this discussion forum is then uh, there are two mandatory things which need to be done in fact there are three mandatory things which need, which, uh, need to be done for uh, completion of this course one is completing homework assignments so every week you will have homework assignments and you will have weekly quizzes that is last point so these two things you will have to complete uh, within a, a certain deadline so that also we will see on the canvas now these two things are mandatory third thing which is mandatory I'll come back to that towards the end of this presentation that is our weekly uh, uh, clinical se sessions clinical contact sessions I'll come back to it later so for this slide what we need to do is first watch those two lectures every week then try to solve your homework assignments and then then take up the quizzes now before taking up quizzes um, if if you can take these quizzes after weekly clinical contact session that will that will be done by us itech um, which will be done every saturday i'll come back to that um, that part uh, so if you do that after clinical contact session it will be better so you might have received an email from university of washington up till now those who have not received please write an email to me so that i can convey that to the university so if you click on this get started it will take you to the website or if you if it will take you to the page like this uw net id web login and uh, do not have uw id so you are not supposed to click here because obviously you will not be having uw net id so you need to click on this login a non uw account and check this box here so that every time it will not ask you once you check this box and click on this uh, login with a non uw account and then click on login it will take you to this google login page so where like routine uh, google login you need to type your email address and your password your own email address your own password and click on sign in so this will be the same gmail uh, id which you might have provided while, while the time of at the time of submission of your uh, form so you might have uh, provided the university your gmail uh, id so with that email id you need to log in this page once you do that it will take you to the home page of this course that is nothing but our canvas so i'll just click uh, on the canvas now
Okay, can you see this? So once you log in, once you uh, okay, great. So once you log in into the Gmail account, it will take you to this canvas, which will show you the home page of the course website. So this is called canvas, where on the left hand side you will see all this uh, buttons, which are uh, uh, which through which you can navigate through the assignments, discussions, quizzes, and all those things you can access. So this is the first home page where you will see the names of the instructor, director, list of directors, course uh, duration and also some introduction about the course and then you can go to the syllabus. So course syllabus will have all the uh, description about the course that is um, and also you can download this course syllabus if you want. This will be in a form of PDF file which will have all the course uh, modules and names and all that will be written in that. Then uh, information regarding target audience as I mentioned in India we have selected ART medical officers basically for this course and uh, the learning objectives have if you see here these have been uh, plenty. So in all these 10 week sessions you will have many learning objectives so that it will cover all the clinical management of HIV part right from the diagnosis to the management to ART opportunistic infections then STI management uh, the pediatric HIV and also uh, uh, profile access like pre-exposure and post-exposure profile access HIV and dermatology HIV and neurology all those aspects of HIV will be covered in this uh, 10 weeks course so each session will be equally important and so that I'll urge you not to miss any clinical contact session and obviously you will have to solve all those uh, 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 quizzes and homework assignments for successful completion of the course. Now the format of this course is as I mentioned it, you need to watch these lecture videos which are uploaded every week and then after that you need to complete homework assignments this we need to be done by us and then uh, take weekly quizzes. Now these are the three things which we need to do but as I mentioned weekly quizzes if you can do it after the clinical contact session which will be done by us on every Saturday. So that is another thing uh, in addition to these week, uh, uh, watching lecture videos. I will come back to that towards the end. So uh, one, one, one quick instruction here that uh, you please use uh, Google Chrome uh, uh, for opening all these links so that it will be easier it will not ask you for the questions so there are many other uh, explorer also you can use but Google Chrome is better for this then course expectation uh, you need to score at least 70 percent or higher for on all graded activities that is in in quizzes and homework assignment you need to score minimum 70 percent of marks which is not difficult if you see I'll, I'll show you how. Uh, now grading is done in this fashion. Now upper table is not for us. This is for UW uh, participants who those who are attending the course in the University of Washington. This is not for us. The lower table is for us. That is activity and percentage if you see. Uh, online homework study assignment will be 50% and weekly quizzes will be 50%. So this is how uh, you need to uh, attend this. Now we will see what are these online self-study homework assignment and weekly quizzes uh, are. Now homework case studies, there will be a web case study. You need to read that case study and towards the end of the case study you will have questions. So, but good thing in this is, for example, I will show you the uh, case study. Uh, suppose we take a first case study which is here. Now this is the case study, 38 years old HIV infected man with CD4 of uh, 425 presents with all, the, all these things. Now this is the case study. Now these are the four options which are available. If I click on one option, it will show that incorrect answer and it will give the explanation why this answer is incorrect. Similarly, if you click on another, it is again showing incorrect. So until, un un unless you get to the correct answer, you need to uh, keep trying. So uh, I'll show you how to uh, complete this homework assignment but it will give you the explanation of all the answers uh, if it is correct or how it is correct and if it is not correct 
why it is not correct. So all those explanations will be uh, given in this. So this is very beneficial for learning. But if you see as an assignment, I'll show you how to complete that uh, and from where to pick up those assignment and complete them. Then comes quizzes. So uh, after each uh, week's clinical contact session, you will have this access to quiz, uh, uh, quiz, which will be usually a seven marks quiz. Unlike homework assignments, you, where you will have multiple uh, attempts. So you could attempt 100 times also, even more than that, unless you reach the right answer, you can keep trying. Uh, and unless you re reach the uh, right answer, you should not stop. But in quizzes, that is not the uh, option. There will be only uh, one attempt which is permitted. So once you attempt all those questions, there will be a submit button. So before submitting, please recheck your answers while, uh, while submitting for quizzes. Because once you submit, you will not be able to again go back and correct your answers. So for quizzes, it is single attempt. For homework assignments, it is multiple attempt. Final exam is not for us. This is only for those participants who are attending this course at the university uh, in the US. So this is not for us. Now extra credit is something which is uh, uh, important actually. What it is is suppose uh, as I mentioned that 70% is the minimum score which is required for successful completion of the course. Suppose you score less. Suppose you score 60%. For some reason you missed the quiz or uh, there were wrong answers in the quizzes and something happened. Now you uh, uh, have now, or if you score 61, you have 9% uh, which is deficient. So you can cover this 9% by solving extra credit cases. So, but for extra credit cases, first you need to complete the homework assignment for that particular week and then you solve this extra credit cases so that it will add up towards the end. So there are maximum 12 extra credits. So even if you score less, for example, if suppose you score 58% towards the end of the course, but you finish extra credit, uh, 12 extra credit cases, it will add up to 70. And that's how you can pass this, uh, this uh, course. But extra credit cannot be counted towards your homework score. Incomplete homework will be counted as zero. So the, what that means is for getting these extra credit points, you need to first complete your homework assignments. So there will be deadline for uh, each quiz. So and also for uh, uh, for the homework assignment, that there will be a deadline that is before the last week of the course. You need to complete homework assignments. But for weekly quizzes, date will be written. So please uh, uh, mind that date and before that date, complete your assignments. Final score. I'll, we already spoke about it. Uh, now attendance. Uh, there is a sheet which we need to submit as ITEC. Uh, we need to submit it to the university. Uh, if you can see this chart, can you see this chart? Can you see this Excel sheet? Okay, so in this Excel sheet you will see that all your names have been written on the left side. So for each week we need to uh, check this whether you are attending those uh, clinical contact sessions every Saturday or not. Now this attendance is for clinical contact sessions. So the lectures which you are listening from the canvas are for your self study. After listening to those lectures you are completing homework assignments. But this clinical contact sessions are discussion forums which we will conduct every Saturday from 11 to 1. I will show you how to log into those uh, sessions. And the attendance is tracked from the uh, login status. When you log in, you need to mention your name and name of the ERT center or the name of the state so that we will identify you from that name and we will mark your attendance. So this is how uh, uh, attendance is tracked. And for successful completion, you need to have at least 70% attendance. That means out of 10 sessions, 10 weekly clinical contact sessions of Saturday, you need to attend at least seven uh, so that you will be eligible to get the certificate. So we uh, regularly send this sheet to the university uh, so that they also track the attendance uh, of yours. Now this is the
the syllabus page and towards the end if you see it will have this uh, information regarding course summary so you can access quizzes from the syllabus page or there is a separate page also i'll come to the next page so you we saw home page syllabus then i'll go to the modules now this is the most important page for us because it will have all the course material which is available now introduction the first part is introduction where you will learn the overview uh, how to navigate through the course technical requirements and what are the expectations this is all what we saw just now in the home page and then starts week 1 so when i click on this week 1 i will be able to see this uh, all details of week 1 now week 1 is diagnosing hiv and initial evaluation of plhiv so this will give you details about the uh, lecturers and their background and then uh, also you will see the recorded link which is here and in recorded link you will see the uh, like for example for week 1 there are two lectures one which was took by dr kim you can click over uh, this and then it will show you the video and then you, if you go to the next lecture next lecture is here you, you need to click here and then you need to listen to the whole lecture Be, uh, bill, just below the lecture you will see download button so you can download all these videos also and can save in your computers if you want to download these slides you can uh, download the pdf and also if you want to listen to the audio only that file also can be downloaded after the weekly lectures there are there are some optional readings if you want to and one more thing is there you can rate the uh, speaker or lecturer that is complete the evaluation survey you can do the evaluation of the lecturer and then uh, there are recommended or optional reading so for example for this week there are uh, there, there are documents like who art guidelines of 2015 and hiv staging guideline of 2007 and there are other guidelines and some papers and some from some journals all these material is available for reading now this is optional if you read it is well and good if you don't read it is up to you then comes homework assignment now this is the case which i was talking about and this is self assessment test now if i click on the case it will open like this uh like i mentioned the first week case if this is the case in and and if I, i want to see the answers i can click on the answer and i can see if it is right or wrong so and this is self assessment test now this is what your homework Uh, the the quizzes is so from the module page also you can go there but i'll show you how to actually do it so i'll not uh, it is better if you attempt all the assignments from uh, here assignment uh, section but you can go from the module section also so from the module section the summary for this page is you need to listen to those two lectures which are uploaded here okay now these two things are to be done here now next thing is after modules now sim this similar thing will happen every week then uh, you will see here week 1 week 2 week 3 week 4 and similarly up to week 10 you will see here and this is course evaluation now for now first three weeks are open week 4 will be unlock will unlock on april 12th at 12:30 uh, pm next is discussion now if suppose there are certain discussions which are happening in our group and if you want to post that discussion something about the week if you want to comment or have some more uh, questions which are unanswered you can post in this discussion forum but otherwise if you don't participate in this discussion that is also well and good it is not necessary now this is the very uh, crucial page for us uh, assignments now if you see here in the assignments as i mentioned there are first 10 assignments are quizzes so every week there will be one quiz which we need to attempt here it there will be last date which will be written that is av available until april 12th so up till 12th april only you will be able to complete this quiz after that it will be closed you will lose this 7 points so please don't miss it and complete this on time 
and what I will recommend is uh, complete this quiz only after uh, we conduct the clinical contact session of the Saturday. So if I click over here, so it will give you the uh, uh, points which are required. Now my access to this course is an observer access. So I will not be able to see the questions and other things, but you will be able to see all these things. So uh, there will be seven questions. Each question will have one point or one mark. And this is, time limit is none. Once you start, uh, start here and you will be able to access the quiz up till uh, April 12th. This is like single attempt quiz. Like I mentioned, if you made a mistake before submitting, before making the final submission, please make sure that your, you, your answers are final. Once you submit the quiz, you will not be able to go back and correct here. You will lose those marks. And if I go back to the assignments, similarly, all every week you will have one uh, weekly quiz up till week 10. Now, in addition to this, you will have homework assignments. Uh, you remember the uh, two main categories in which we are being scored. One is quiz, second one is homework assignment. So, quiz is this which we just now saw. And these are weekly homework assignment. Like this is week one. Now, if each week can have more than one case, like week one, case two, week one, case three, week one, case four, and uh, week one, case one, uh, sorry, week two, case one. So wherever you will see week one, you need to click on that and you need to solve that for that particular week. Now, if you see here, the deadline for this is last week of the course, that is June 17. So, there is no weekly time limit for this. You can solve it at your leisure time. But before the last week of the course, that is before 17th June, you need to finish this homework assignment. But I will recommend that every week if you do this, you will not be overburdened. Now, in this uh, weekly assignment, uh, the homework sessions, these are like, uh, you can attempt it multiple times. Even if you make a mistake in, in answering some questions, even if you submit it, you can resubmit it, you can correct it. So until unless you get 5 points out of 5, you should keep attempting and you should go on and uh, make uh, repeat attempts so that you will not lose marks. So this 50% uh, can be achieved as, as it is. So uh, it is it becomes very easy now. All homework assignments, it is multiple attempt. Uh, attempts can be done in homework assignments. You can uh, achieve 100 out of 100. You can achieve 100% uh, marks in this. So this 50% is e easily achievable. So uh, you need to do it week wise, that is better. But even if suppose you miss it at the end of, uh, until last week of the course, you can complete this. Now there are some extra credit which are bonus points. If you score less towards the end, you can make it up by completing extra credit hours. So I'll recommend that whatever is there in this page, in the assignments, if you complete all, uh, there are better chances that you will cross 70%, which is minimum requirement for successful completion of this course. Okay. So this is very crucial page for us, that is assignments, uh, which is mandatory that you need to score more than 20%. If you want to see quizzes separately, there is a separate uh, button for quiz where if you click on that, you can also see only quizzes here. But assignments, if you uh, click on assignment, you will see all the assignments uh, which includes quiz and as well as your uh, homework assignments. So this is how the uh, canvas looks like. If there are any questions on the canvas, I will be happy to answer. Otherwise, we can go back to our uh, Presentation. There are a few things which I want to talk to you about. Uh, most importantly, about the weekly uh, clinical contact session. Uh, Anjali is saying I have uh, read and completed week one quiz and assignment on the Canvas app. That is uh, uh, great. So you you can complete it uh, now also, but it is advisable to complete it. Uh, after the clinical contact session because some of the answers uh, will be discussed during that session so there are less chances that you will uh, lose marks. Sometimes it happens that you will feel that answer is not correct 
and 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 sometimes you lose marks in in that so it is better if you do it after the uh, saturday session is, is conducted even if you do before that it is fine i'll come to the clinical contact session now so these are the 10 uh, weeks classes we will be conducting um, week 1 is diagnosing hiv and initial evaluation then uh, there is a difference in series of this classes uh, the correct series can be found in the lecture which was taken by dr kim in the week 1 so uh, ois have been split Uh, in in two parts one is opportunistic infection cns and tb another is uh, for uh, non tb and non H non cns infections then you have session on pre exposure and post exposure and hiv prevention uh, prophylaxis and hiv prevention there are two sessions on art one is introduction to art second is uh, about the um, uh, arv that is adverse effects uh, adverse effects of arv interaction and resistance Uh, there are uh, there is session on women and hiv and hiv vertical transmission then management of stis and also there is a session on pediatric hiv so these 10 sessions will be conducted now uh, i'll come to the weekly clinical contact session now weekly contact sessions actually the course requirement is uh, is that every all participants come together and discuss about that week's topic which is practically not possible for us because we are all from uh, different corners of the country so we cannot meet so what we have done as an alternative for that is we have uh, uh, created a forum of weekly uh, contact session so you uh, will be able to log in to this clinical contact session by clicking on this link which is given on the page here that is itechindia.adobeconnect.com/clinichiv underscore u w uh, forward slash now if you click on this it will take you to a page which looks like this so here you need to fill in your name you need to uh, check this enter as a guest will be auto checked you need not to change anything here you need to enter your name name of the art center and name of your district or, or state if suppose multiple participants are attending from the same site for, for example there is one art center and two or three medical officers are, are attending then write name of each medical officer who is attending then underscore your name of the art center and name of the district then you enter the room room once you enter the room you will see the window which you are seeing now and on your screen now uh, like it will also have a, a chat box like you are typing now in the chat box similarly you can ask questions and so that we can discuss on those questions unfortunately you will not be able to speak in this uh, because there will be only uh, uh, one person can can speak uh, in this format but whatever you want to say you can type in the chat box so your attendance will be marked based on your name which you type in 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 this uh, enter as a guest box so if you if we see your name here uh, in the list of participants in the chat box we will mark your attendance so please make sure that every saturday you log in to this link on uh, at 11 am and uh, so that your attendance is marked so you can uh, skip three sessions if you want but i'll uh, suggest that it is better to attend all the sessions so that uh, you will uh, score good in the quizzes and it will be uh, a good learning for everyone uh, of you uh, please don't just complete it uh, to get the certificate but if you can bring in an in in Uh, uh an experience which is helpful for every one of us it will be better uh i am in a position where i will be able to take you through the session and we will be able to discuss the national guideline along with the international guideline because these lectures are being taken by international faculty we need to also see that what is naco guideline on those those topics so i'll try to mix up the, those slides with our naco slides and i'll try to lead a discussion in a manner where Uh, we will also discuss what exactly is to be done or supposed to be done at our own art center but it is not that uh, that uh, i know everything that is why i am discussing uh, it is absolutely not like that you all bring in a lot of clinical experience so uh, but unfortunately you will not be able to speak up uh, uh, directly but you will be able to type it out so whenever you want to say anything you want to comment you want to react you can do that in the chat box so that i can read it or uh, read it for you and we can have discussion in that fashion 
so this is how it will work and uh, like I mentioned that if your questions are not answered in this uh, session you can take your questions to the university through the discussion forums uh, that is one way to do it else you can write questions to me I'll take those questions to the university and get the answers for you so please be very comfortable in, in asking questions and you need to uh, 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 discuss a lot in within your groups and in, on we also have a whatsapp group as you are all are aware uh, in those groups also you can raise questions if there are unanswered so that we can have a good discussions there is a question only Saturday session is mandatory not required UW uh, session right see Saturday questions are mandatory for uh, attendance um, you need to but but to attend those Saturday sessions you it, it will be better that you listen to the lectures first listening to the lectures are not recorded anywhere no one will be able to know whether you have listened to the lecture or you have not listened to the lectures but unless you listen to the lecture there will not be any learning so the uh, main source of learning will be those lectures so that it is uh, it will be good for you to uh, gain more knowledge uh, how to enter the whatsapp group uh, I have all your numbers so with those numbers I have created the whatsapp group but if you are not in that num uh, group uh, it will be for the reason that the number you gave uh, at the time of filling up the form uh, is not your whatsapp number so if I missed you out Dr. Sanjay please uh, uh, text me your number uh, you should be uh, you might have my number otherwise I will share my details uh, in the last slide of this presentation also so you can give me your number those who are not on whatsapp group so that I can add you to the whatsapp group hope this is clear about the weekly clinical contact sessions so the first clinical contact session will be started on 8th April that is this Saturday so from there on we will all have uh, the clinical contact session every Saturday between 11 to 1 now why uh, Saturday and why 11 to 1 is because uh, uh, comparatively we uh, usually have less patient load at ART center on Saturdays uh, if not then please make sure that you are able to take time out uh, discuss with your co-medical uh, officer or, or nodal officer uh, NACO is aware about this course and uh, and everyone is actually aware about this course so no one will say that you cannot attend it but you need to manage carefully you need to uh, ensure that your patients do not suffer because you are listening to this lecture so that should not happen please manage your time well uh, see patients early uh, take uh, two hours uh, as a separate time if you have two medical officers uh, request the other person to cooperate for this course uh, do their work in, in before uh, starting this session so that they also will not feel extra burden try to finish patients early try to give less assignment uh, less appointments on Saturdays uh, until unless you complete this course manage yourself in, in a way that there will not be any complaint from the uh, patients or anyone that you are doing something which you in the OPDRs uh, where your prime responsibility is seeing patients so I will not tell you how to do it because you have taken up this course you need to manage your time by your own so don't uh, please make it uh, uh, or do something which will not or which will be a complaint against you to someone at SACS or NACO or any, anyone like that so please manage your time well and attend all these sessions and uh, if you have any questions like I said you can ask in whatsapp groups and you can ask over email you can ask in the chat box or, or you can directly post to the uh, university about the whatsapp group uh, one more thing I would like to mention that please do not post any regular greetings in the whatsapp group no uh, festival wishes no good morning good evening uh, no happy new year nothing so please don't do anything in the whatsapp group because people will get disturbed they will, the, there is a specific reason for which we have created this group so uh, we'll maintain uh, that thing so that it will not disturb others uh, and it will be purely used for technical reasons uh, some people have shared their numbers I'll uh, definitely add those numbers in, in the whatsapp group I'll request Praveen uh, to add those numbers to the whatsapp group uh, this is the last slide this has all my clinic uh, my contact details if you want to reach me out uh, this is my mobile number if you want to Skype there is a Skype num um, the, uh, ID also 
and email is of course it is there. Um, uh, someone is mentioning that audio is not clear. Um, sometimes this will happen even at your site if you are using the uh, mobile application or if you are using multiple windows in your computer your uh, audio may not work properly so please make sure that other windows are closed while listening to these lectures uh, we are recording this session so we will also circulate this recorded link to you so that if you want to again refer it to uh, refer this orientation orientation session uh, sometime later that also can be done even the recorded uh, even all those con clinical contact session also will be recorded for your reference but uh, to participate live in those sessions is, is mandatory for marking your attendance so uh, if there are any questions I'll be happy to answer now uh, if not uh, thank you very much for participating in this on uh, orientation seminar uh, I wish all of you a very uh, successful uh, clinical uh, course and uh, looking forward to have more uh, in-depth discussions on the clinical topics. Um, uh, thank you very much. There are some questions which are coming up. Uh, if there are two to three people uh, who are attending lecture from one side it is possible but uh, please make sure that those people are from the same site a person who is sitting in the neck in the adjacent district cannot attend from one side so please make sure that that doesn't happen so if two to three people are from same sites like I mentioned in the while logging in as a guest you need to mention all those people's name who are attending those session from that site uh, Dr. Dr. Sugantan is saying that I have not received any email. Uh, please write an email to me that you have not received email from the university so that I can again forward that email to the university uh, and they will take care of uh, take care of it. Uh, Dr. Rajesh, uh, you can listen to the complete lecture again. We will send you the le recorded link. In fact, I'll share this recorded link with everyone uh, through emails and also in the WhatsApp group.